Welcome to Rural Health Pulse. I'm Jim Kinnear, Chief Human Resources Officer at the Indiana Regional Medical Center. In this series, we focus on ideas and stories impacting the health of our region and explore programs and initiatives designed to improve health care and wellness. This podcast is a collaborative effort of IRMC and Indiana University of Pennsylvania. In this episode, we are speaking with Dr. Hillary Creerly, the Dean of the IUP School of Graduate Studies and Research, to learn more about the importance of research in a public university, and also more about some of the exciting research being undertaken by IUP students and faculty. Welcome, Dr. Creerly. Thank you so much for having me. Just to get started, can you share an overview of what your role is here at IUP? Sure, happy to do so. So as the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies and Research, I have the opportunity to be engaged in two broad areas of the university. On the graduate studies side, I help coordinate our more than 45 uh, master's, doctoral, and certificate programs. And on the research side of the house, I have the pleasure of uh, coordinating and overseeing uh, the university's research enterprise. So I work closely with our faculty, our deans, our IUP Research Institute, that's essentially our Office of Sponsored Projects, to help our faculty and students engage in research in every academic discipline. Outstanding. I know IUP has a designation as a research institution that helps it stand out among some of the other schools in the state. Can you just explain that a little bit to individuals that might not be as familiar with that? Absolutely. IUP is, uh, in the Carnegie classification system, considered a doctoral research, or R2, university. And IUP was able to achieve this classification based on the number of doctoral degrees we award each year and the amount of sponsored research, or research expenditures, I'm sorry, that we make each year. So we have to have research expenditures in excess of $5 million per year in order to qualify as an R2 doctoral research university. Uh, and, and in reality, the university expends far more than that in support of research and original scholarship. But the way the classification system works, we use the National Science Foundation Higher Education Research and Development, or NSF HERD, report. And there are sort of a more narrowly defined suite of expenses that count in that report. So it is actually that report and the $5 million of expenditures uh, that lead to our classification. But in reality, the university spends far, far in excess of that in support of research and scholarship. Thank you. I I learned something new there, understanding that a little bit better. So I appreciate you sharing that. Can you share just an overview of why research is important to a university like IUP? For sure. Uh, Research is, for me, critical at, at a university. It is the original knowledge production in any academic discipline. And you're really proud to engage students and faculty and learners from all fields, Uh, and it's so important for a public university like IUP, where our research portfolio is largely applied. So we are out there solving real world problems and helping our learners develop and refine their intellectual curiosity uh, and and how they look at data and information with a critical eye, uh, which are skills that they'll take forward out into the real world when they work for the employers in our region. So as you think about that, One of the questions I was going to ask you, and I think you've answered it, was why is it important for students to engage in research? And so those critical thinking skills are particularly one of the benefits of of being involved in the research. Any other benefits for students? 